Diamonds are a girl's best friend. And today's free pattern is a quilter's best friend. Hi, it's Fran Morgan. And Donna Robertson with Fabric Cafe. Mom, it's free pattern time. Yes, and you can get the free pattern by going to our website, clicking on the free goodies tab, and voila, it's there. And remember, these patterns are only up for a limited time, so be sure to check that out soon. And the next free pattern is... Tumbling Triangles! Let's go check it out. Here we have Tumbling Triangles, and you can see it's a beauty. And what's really great about this, it's super fast and it's very, very versatile. So you can use a really beautiful print as your focus and put it on the border. You could use that on one of your half square triangles to make your diamonds. We can move it all around. It is so great. Let's get it on the table. We have some amazing fabric for you. And we have pieces and parts for everyone. That always makes it a little bit better. It's so much easier. All right, would you mind okay. handing me? those pieces and parts so we can yes. show everyone because you know this pattern is so great because of the versatility. Of course, all of our three yard quilts are just so super versatile. Now this one, super fast to make. What we've got here is just a half square triangle. Now when you're making this, you're just gonna make this half square triangle over and over and over again, which makes it so simple. You can get in that zone <laughs> and it just kind of goes. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's just so easy. So basically, it's kind of like a one block, and the one block is your half square triangle. Yes. So very simple. And when you put those those triangles, those half square triangles together, they make it look like bigger blocks. It is so cool. It is so cool. So here we have our half square triangle. So I'm going to start laying them out on the on the pattern here. So I'm going to be using this yellow and blue floral everywhere the purple is here. I'm going to lay that on there. Now you guys remember our pieces and parts always have our seam allowances on it, so that's why it looks just a little bit bigger. And then here we go. We're going to just continue to make half square triangles and place them. So in this case, we have these four blocks that are going to go together and it's going to create this really great diamond effect. So our white's in the center here, our floral's on the outside, and it's really great. That is so cool. Yeah. When you're putting your other rows together, these are going to come together and you're going to turn it so that your focus fabric is on the center of the diamond. That is so cool. And it looks so neat. Now, once you get all these rows put together, all these half square triangles, and you step back and look at it, you're gonna see how cool it makes this secondary pattern on the quilt surface. Mm -hmm. It is so fun. Of course, any three yards work with any of our three yard patterns, right? Mm -hmm. Now, you can switch your fabric positions and make any fabric your focus fabric. In this case, we made our focus fabric the purple. And then we put this on the side, or this is our focus, we can flip flop those. And I love the fact that we used one yard, the whole one yard for that whole border, because it yes. really gives you that, that punch. Let's show them the borders that we're choosing here. So this is so cool. So like we said, you can switch your fabric positions as long as you make all the cuts from that fabric, from that position. Mm -hmm. So, and it works. Now, in this case, we have this gorgeous blue that we're gonna be putting on the border. But we've done something just a little bit different that I wanna mention. So on the quilt that we have on the table, we do not have an extra border here. What we've done is we have taken the pattern and kind of updated it a little bit. Kind of tweaked it. Kind of tweaked it. And when we tweaked it and did our math, we realized we could add another border, which is so exciting. It is. Because we can use every bit of that fabric and make a little bit larger quilt, mm -hmm. which is perfect. So what we've done is we have added a border right in the middle here. So when you get your pattern, you'll see that and we're going to see an image in just a minute. So this is gorgeous. I love the way that in this case, the blue is gonna frame it and really make it gorgeous. And all of this yellow and blue floral, which is just great, makes our diamonds. Well, I can't wait until we show them how this one works up. Yes, okay, so let's look at the fabric and that image. Here is our yellow with our beautiful mm -hmm. white flowers with all of that blue outline. We are using that as the focus that goes everywhere the purple is. This is such a nice 
change, that springy look that we're all going to be looking yes. forward to from the, <laughs> the yes. winter to the, to oh the my spring. Goodness. It has the sunshine, mm -hmm. which I love, absolutely mm -hmm. love. Okay, then our white, and this is a great white. It's a tone on tone, but it also has a flower in it. So it has a, a little bit of a texture going on there, oh, wow. and it looks fantastic. And it's going to be everywhere. The beige is here. Is this the same design as the blue? I think, I it, think is. it is. <laughs> that was very observant. I did not catch that. So it's perfect. Well, I know it doesn't show up on the camera really well, but it's exactly like this, but it's tone on tone. So it gives you that interest. So your eye will pick it up, even if it's not just in your face. Yeah, that's <laughs> so true. So we've got that as in our half square triangles. Now, don't forget, we're also going to have that as that little border that goes between this one and the diamonds. I think that was a really good addition to this pattern. I do too. I really like that we were able to do that. So then we have this great blue and it is, like you said, the same as our number two, just in the blue. Mm -hmm. That is going to go on our border and it's going to create that nice frame that's really going to hold it all together and really make it have that punch. I love it. So let's check out that image because this is a beautiful quilt whenever it all comes together and you can see how the floral and really kind of gives it a lot of life in the middle of the quilt mm -hmm. and then there's that secondary pattern that is created from the lines of the diamonds which is so so cool I just love it I, I'm amazed at how you can take one block and just by rotating it yes. you can come up with such a cool design and you know if you look you can actually see that there's also a star in there oh, you see that star in i there? see it yeah can you see the star in there if you oh, can so put it in neat. the comments oh yeah. i love it so this is really a very versatile pattern very beautiful fabric selection for this and let's get this kit information it is called sunflower delight and once again, this is our current free pattern that's on our website. It is Tumbling Triangles. You know, the, the joy of having three yard quilts is you can use any fabric in any one of our patterns and it looks stunning. So now we're going to show you what it looks like if you use batiks. And aren't these pretty? Yes, I, it's so pretty. I have, I have grown so fond of batiks and I can remember when I first started quilting, I didn't know what to do with batiks, <laughs> but uh, if you just start working with them, you find out that they're, they're probably easier to match in many instances than regular cotton fabric. Yeah, and you, you just look at it like a, a regular fabric. Yeah, it's, and it's so pretty, and you can mix designs and everything. It's just gorgeous. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it just like the pattern. We're going to use this as the number one uh, fabric and it's going to go everywhere you see the purple in this particular one. Now remember what Fran said about switching your fabrics. If you wanted to, you could switch it and use it in a different position mm -hmm. as long as you follow our directions and cut everything from that position. So this is our number one. It'll be where the purple is. This oh. is our number two. And the way you get your number two is you just compare what's left over. You take your number one out of the equation. You compare these two, you get your light and your dark. The number two position is always your light, and it's going to go here and here, still making just those half square triangles. So I like super. this. It's, it's a really nice, warm uh, number two fabric, and yes, I like that. Yes, and yeah. as we always say, you don't want number two to be boring. <laughs> Never. So <laughs> it looks great. And then our number three fabric is going to be out on the border. And that is going to really kind of hold the colors of yeah. the other two oh. fabrics together. But enough words. Let's show them a oh, picture. The picture so, is so great. It is awesome. And I love the way that, that that extra little border in there almost is like you've gone to the framer and matted it with a little bit of extra. It really does. And, and you know, it's so much fun for us whenever we realize. Now, this was one of our very first patterns. I think this pattern probably came out in like 2009, uh -huh. 2008 or nine, something like that. And it, it is actually even better than what we first started out. I love it. It's mm -hmm. great. And I really love our focus fabric and those diamonds. I think it really makes a nice textural, wonderful design when it goes all together. And you know, this one would look really pretty on my sofa because <laughs> I have kind of a, a cream colored uh -huh. Uh, sofa yep. and uh, <laughs> this would just look stunning it would. on there. It would be stunning. It would be great. 
Well, this one is called Granite Falls, and Tumbling Triangles is the name of the pattern. And of course, the pattern is free, and that's just for a limited time. So our next kit is gorgeous. Now, one of the things I love about three yard quilts is you can change the style and genre of the fabric, and it totally changes the look. And this is a really great example of that. We have these gorgeous <laughs> leaves on a dark navy background. This is gonna be our focus fabric and it's gonna go everywhere the purple is here. And they're just striking, just looking at the fabric here, not even made up in a kit, you know that it's just amazing. Well, I think what you said about changing the genre is one of the reasons three yard quilts have become so popular is a gift quilt. Because, you know, you can look at a picture and it might have chickens on the, the pattern and you say, my friend Mary Jo will not like chickens on her quilt. So yeah. you could pick out something stunning oh, like this. It's just amazing. So mm -hmm. this will be our focus. Now, as our number two fabric, now remember, we're taking the focus out of the equation like you mentioned and then comparing the next two. And our number two is this beautiful kind of a jade green texture. So it's a little different as our kind of our secondary, our number mm -hmm. two fabric, because usually we go really light, and in this case it's not, but it's so rich. I bet this one's gonna be gorgeous in that oh. image. Oh, it is. Mm, uh, keep watching for that. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's so pretty. So our jade is gonna go everywhere the beige is on this one. So these two will be our half square triangles to make this pattern, and it's just so yummy. Okay, and now we've done something really cool for our number three. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, yes, and look how great that goes together. It is so pretty. Now, our number three is a directional fabric. It is a, it, it reads like a stripe because of the way that it's mm -hmm. printed. So I guess you'd say it's a stripe, right? Yeah. <laughs> that is gonna go on our border, and tumbling triangles is the perfect pattern to put a stripe on the border because it is gonna all just fall perfectly and it's it's fun to have a stripe. I love a stripe. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to match up your, where your uh, stripes join because you're gonna be having your stripes go this way. Yes. So you don't have to worry yes. about matching anything up. Oh, and this is just so pretty. It's just so, so pretty. These are definitely our colors. And these are our colors. <laughs> Notice the color of Fran's blouse. <laughs> <laughs> Color with more color. That's what right, I like. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, color with a lot of a lot of extra color. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's show them the image. Oh, let's show them the image because oh my goodness, it just came together so beautifully, and I love this focus fabric. That is so fun. It is so fun, and I like the way that the stripe is on the border because it's not a real structured stripe. It's very free mm -hmm. and it just kind of adds so much movement on that border. I mm -hmm. really think it works perfectly. I love that big border and with stripes, it's just gonna be stunning. Yes. But you know that we do these free patterns and we show you all these wonderful fabrics that you could use in that free pattern. And we want you to be sure that you always get notification whenever it's time for our new free pattern. So mm -hmm. be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell so that we can let you know every time we have a new free pattern. Oh yes, I definitely want to get in on that. And we always have great kits to go with that free pattern too. Let's get the name of this kit for you. It is called Tranquil Nature. And once again, we're using our current free pattern, Tumbling Triangles. This one is just wonderful. Don't you love red and white? Oh, yes. You remember when red and, I mean, I, I think red and white embroidery is still very, very popular. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I can remember when I first saw it, I just thought it was so fresh and clean and crisp. It's very I loved striking. It. And this fabric is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> so the number one fabric is this red, and it would be going everywhere that you see here where the purple is if you're following the instructions for using that flower in the number one position. Yes. I personally think that this is one that I might switch out. Oh. And I might take the number one and switch it with the number three. So it would be in the border. I That's just a great think idea. that is so yeah. cool. Well, just like this mm -hmm. one is where the floral's on the outside and then our textures are in the middle. It's so versatile. You can do it so many different ways. Mm -hmm. It's a great free pattern. Be yes. sure to get that one. All right, and then we have our number two and three. And this is where it's very important to have that resting place for your mm -hmm. eyes. And this one does have a little tone on tone going on here in the background. in the background. It is. There. It's so a little pretty. floral. Uh -huh. And then how perfect is this red and white polka dot? So this white will be everywhere you see the beige <laughs> yep. and the red on the border, unless you switch it the way I would switch it. <laughs> 
<laughs> which that's great. Now um, look at this. I, I like this too because this red background is kind of a lighter red, but it has this darker red outline on the flowers, which picks up this red perfectly. Yes. yes. And it really, I think, enhances it. Mm -hmm. It really. This is a fun kit too. That is fun, and and you know it's it's dynamic and energetic. Uh huh. And, and it's just two colors, which is crazy. Isn't it's that still amazing? so <laughs> energetic and uh, pleasing. I love yeah. it. Okay, so let's look at the image of this all made up. Isn't that fun? I really like it. And I'm going to tell you, I'm so happy we added that secondary border. I just really think it works well. It does. It just, it, uh -huh. that separation is perfect. Mm -hmm. it, it is, is perfect. absolutely perfect. It's called Sweet and Cozy. Uh, tumbling Triangles is the pattern. Now we have another great kit, and this is fun. Once again, another genre that's a really kind of... Kind of a bohemian. Kind of a bohemian. It's yeah. really fun. I like it. It's all these different colors on this pink background. Mm -hmm. This will be our focus where the purple is. And it really, ha it's very, very playful. I really like this. Now, what's really cool is we have put this dot as our number two. I love it. It's like a beaded curtain <laughs> from the like 70s a... <laughs> like we had. <laughs> I had one of those, too. Yeah. <laughs> I loved them. Very no, fun and playful. Yeah, and that is, is a perfect description of this. A great dot, kind of in a little bit of a stripe. That is going to go everywhere your beige is. You know, friend, some mm -hmm. people are afraid to use stripes when they're making half square triangles. Yeah. But do you know there is a trick? And Fran has done a video that shows you how to make your half square triangles and make your stripes go in different directions. So you'll want to check that out. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, it's really, it's a lot easier than you think. So be sure to go check that video out. Yes. All right, so that number two is going to go everywhere this beige is. And then our number three is this great blue. Now, I like this blue. There's a little bit of light and dark to it, so it's got some texture there. It's very faint. Mm -hmm. But I love it because that is going to give us our frame and our place to rest our eye just a little bit. Mm -hmm. So it's going to go on the border here, and it's really going to just bring it all in together, which is great. Now, I want to mention, too, remember that extra little border? This is going to go on that border, so you're going to have your That's stripes. That's going to be so cute. It's so cute. Okay, let's show them. Let's show <laughs> them right. how this works because it really, really is cute. So that great pink is in the middle, all that playfulness, mm -hmm. all of those beads in the center. It's great. And then we have just that little bit of a border that just works perfectly. And then our beautiful blue frame that pulls it all together. That is awesome. I love it. It is so much fun. All right. This kit is called a fantasy garden. And, of course, we have placed it in our tumbling triangles pattern that is free for a limited time on our website. You know, it's such a great deal to be able to get a free pattern. And if you want to be a hero with one of your friends, or many of your friends, <laughs> be sure to share this video with them so that they can get it as well. Yes, and remember, it's only available for a limited time, so be sure to check it out on FabricCafe.com on our free goodies tab. It's Donna Robertson and Fran Morgan. Happy quilting!